mother is in Aldi, my father's church. I give honor to God, and I'm, I'm grateful to be standing behind the sacred desk one more time. There is a word from the Lord from Revelations chapter 3. It's a word, and I won't be for you long, but it's still a word. From the Lord. It's from Revelations chapter 3, starting at verse 15. Revelations chapter 3, starting at verse 15. When you have say amen. says, I know thy works, that thou are neither cold nor hot. Mm -hmm. I would thou work cold or hot. So then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I would spew thee out of my mouth. Because thou says I am rich and increase with goods and have need of nothing. And know it's not that thou art rich and miserable and pure. I mean, and poor, poor and blind and naked. I, I counsel thee to buy of me gold, tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich in white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with eye salve, that thou mayest see. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be, be, be zealous, therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice, and open the door, I will come into him and will sell from him and he will meet. For a little while, I want to talk about a Christian whose temperature is stuck in between. Come on now. Come on. Come on now. In between, just stuck. My Lord. I remember working at McDonald's and people come get coffee every morning to start their day off. And if the coffee wasn't hot, there if like the coffee wasn't hot, they'll return it to us and ask for us to make fresh coffee. Yes, yes. Because it was lukewarm, it didn't have the right taste to it. It had the best taste to it. Yes. We have some warm coffee just after church today. Yes. The temperatures are stuck in between. Come on. You're stuck in between if you have one foot in the church and one foot in the world. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. Matthew 6, says, No one can serve two masters, either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. You can't serve God and the devil. You're stuck in between if you think just because you've served in church all your life that you're on fire for Jesus. But you can serve and shout all you want and still wind up a Christian who's stuck in between. Can I get a witness? Amen. Yes, and you stuck between if, if you say that you love God and, and always talking down about somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible says in 1 John 420, that whoever claims to love God yet hates a brother or sister is a liar. For whoever does not love their brother and sister whom they have seen cannot love God whom they have not seen. Yeah. When they shout for God and work their way, we ought to love each and every one, including our enemies. Amen. If you believe that you can stay in sin and go on about your life without repenting of your sins. Amen. And God didn't save us so we can keep on sinning. He saved us so, so we can be a witness and light to the world. Yeah. Matthew 5 16 says, Let your light shine for others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Yeah. You see, we can't be witnesses of God to the world and still live in darkness. Right. Because Amen. God is light and in Him is no darkness at all. Amen. God will love. God can't dwell in an unclean temple. I'm talking about Christians with temperature stuck in between. Amen. Yeah. In between, if you only do good works and try to get a name for yourself. God is not looking for people to make name for themselves. Because when Jesus was on earth, the Bible says in Philippians 2 7 that Jesus made himself of no reputation. Jesus was a humble man in spite of being the Son of God. He was still humble and he didn't brag about himself that he did. Even when he healed the man with leprosy. Jesus told the man to not tell anyone that you see some of us they just like to be seen. Amen. You see, this church that Jesus is speaking to were lukewarm because they trusted in materialism. They thought they were rich and secure, but Jesus said they were rich, miserable, poor, blind, and naked. Jesus said to them that I know your works and Jesus knows what we do 
and he knows our motives and everything we do. So we have to be careful with believing our works will save us. What's your motive behind that work that you do? Jesus wants more than us from our works. I mean, then our works. Because in his text, we're looking at today, the church thought they had it going on. Yeah. They went to church, gave it to the church, probably had a lot of programs. Yeah. Every morning, Come Luke on, them but the problem was there wasn't enough Christ in them. Yeah. Amen. They didn't live for him. They lived for themselves. Yeah. And, and they didn't even recognize it. And that's the sad thing. Yeah. And they made the Lord sick. Yeah. And he tells them, I would rather you be cold or hot. Yeah. I would rather for you to make up your mind to be in the world or to be in me. Because right now, you confuse me. Right. Because, because you're the cold, nor hot, and you're making me sick. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Look at verse 16. Right. He said, because you are lukewarm, I will vomit you out of my mouth. Right. Come on now. He says, of a Christian who's stuck in between. Yeah. Yeah. This church would believe they had it going on. They had money, they, and, and they probably had a whole bunch of members. They thought they had everything they needed. They had everything, like materialized, but I tell you, they didn't have one thing that mattered That's right. the most, and that was Jesus. That's right. Amen. Jesus was the one that blessed them with the stuff. Yeah. And that's what God wants us. Yeah. That's because the only thing that God wants from us is our hearts. Yes. That's right. Jesus wants a relationship with us. Look at verse 20. He says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Yeah. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. Right. Jesus speaks something to us, but the problem is we just won't listen. Yeah. Amen. What everybody else on, has sir. to say instead of what Jesus has to say. Right. He says, if any man hear my voice, open the door. Not only do you have to be willing to listen, but you also have to be willing to open the door. Yeah. You have to be willing to let him in your heart. Mm -hmm. And he said, uh, he stood at the door knocking and he ain't going to force his way in. Yeah. He's waiting That's to right. Your and That's right. He's waiting for right. you to open the door for a relationship to him. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Amen. Your, your temperature is stuck in between if, if, if you claim to be a Christian but not connected to Christ. Jesus says in John 15, 4 through 7, Abide in me, and I am you. As a branch cannot bear fruit by itself, unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. And whoever abides in me, and I am him, he is that bears much fruit. For so apart from me, you cannot do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is thrown away like a branch and withers, and he and the branches are gathered, thrown into the fire and burned. If you abide in me and my words in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. In order to be hot for Jesus, number one, we have to let him in our heart. Number two, he says we have to abide in him, and we have to remain in him. And he says when we remain in him, he will remain in us. And in order to remain in him. We have to do what he says. Because John 15 to 10 says, Jesus says, if if you, Jesus says, if you, he's given us a choice to be called out, because he said, if you, if you keep your, if, if, if you keep my commandments, you would abide in my love, right. even as I have kept my father's commandments yeah. and abide in his love. Yeah. It's our choice to be called out. Right. Can I get it with you? Amen. Yes. Not only are we supposed to remain in him, we are to remain in his word. Yeah. Jesus 15 to 7 said, Jesus said, if, if you, John 15 to 7 said, Jesus said, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, we have to read and study his word daily because we can't be connected or in a relationship to someone we don't know. Can I get the witness? Amen. Yeah. The church in this sense was connected to the Lord and they didn't have a relationship with the Lord. And Jesus knew because they wasn't producing his truth. It's like an earthly relationship. Once you've been married to somebody, for a while, you start developing some of the same characteristics your spouse has. Once you get into the Word, you start developing the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You start developing the same characteristics as Jesus. That's why Paul told Timothy in Saint Timothy in Saint Timothy two and fourteen to study to show that the fruit unto God a workman that he needed that needed not be ashamed. Rightly divide the Word of truth. He told him to study so he can get closer to God, so that he can live out and be a witness to God's word. Yeah. That's what God is looking for. He's looking for people who is hungry, right. who, who, who is hungry for him. Right. He's looking for people who have a desire to seek him and, and remain seeking him. Right. He wants us to be faithful to him. It's Amen. like a to our wife. Yeah. Amen. He wouldn't want your spouse out here doing right. everything the world is doing. That's right. 
Amen. You want them to be faithful to you because that's the person you're connected to. Yeah. Right. You want your spouse to come home to you every night. And you right. want them to talk to you. And you want them to spend time with you. Right. Yeah. God is the same way. Because yes. you want us to spend time with him. Right. You want us to talk right. to him every day. Talk, and sir. you want us to be connected and faithful to him. That's, that's the it. problem in this text. That's and it. even the church today, yeah. they wasn't really connected. Mm -hmm. They uh -huh. wasn't in a real relationship with God. Yeah. Their temperature was stuck in between, yeah. just like some Christians today. Yeah. Amen. God want us to make up our minds either yeah. be cold or hot. Yeah. Amen. A lukewarm church. Yeah. Come on now. It can be all night long for the church to be stuck in between. Yeah. Come on now. He crucified for the church to be stuck in between. Right. And he didn't get up on Sunday morning for us to be stuck in between. Yeah. So we have to make up our mind because it's getting late in the evening and the sun is going down. Yeah. 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 He's coming back for the hot church. I don't know about you, but I, but, but I want to hear him say, well done, thou yeah. good and perfect yeah. service. Right. Be faithful for a few things. Come on up, and I'll make it real love with me. Come on. Christians who simply are stuck in between, we got to be a hot church. Jesus don't like no newborn church. Amen. Amen. Amen.